Well, it is uh, October 9th, 2022. It's a Sunday. And my first uh, shift back at work after having been gone for a week, getting things uh, mm, more or less back in order. But uh, still some more to do tomorrow to get it uh, back to how I usually like to keep it. And adjustments, that was the word I was looking for. Uh, nothing exciting going on. Um, just uh, cooler weather. Probably planning on going for a run after a long nap uh, today. And uh, I'm just kind of, you know, the same old, same old of going back and people asking how vacation was and uh, what I finally settled on, as far as like a brief descriptor, was emotionally draining. I don't think that's exactly the answer that most people expect. Vacation is emotionally draining, and of course that requires some explanation. And, uh, I don't know, that was... Uh, everything's good, I enjoyed it, it was great, I'm glad to be back. You know, I could just pretend it's something normal answer, um, just to minimize uh, interaction and conversation and uh, follow-up questions. But emotionally draining was the most, you know, true answer. You know, I was, I was glad to go. I was glad to get back. Because work doesn't require extra Typically, it does not require extra thought and feeling and focus and decision making and uh, leave me wanting with questions and indecision and uncertainty and fatigue and um, yeah, work is easy, it is uh, almost automatic. Um, and I know that really nothing is at stake. Um, there is no risk. I just show up, do a bit of, you know, physical labor, and I leave. And uh, that's all there is. Um, I don't have to worry about doing a really good job or a doing a bad job. I just do what I do. Apparently that's as much or better than what uh, I am expected. I am holding myself accountable and uh, I am basically the boss of me because no one really uh, talks to me um, as far as about the job I do. I have no oversight or overseer. I just... Uh, do what I do, and uh, no one talks to me about it. As soon as somebody does talk to me about it, it means I'm doing something wrong, or I'm doing something incorrectly. So my job, I feel, as I've tasked myself with, is to never hear about anything. So if somebody's talking to me about the job, then something's not right. So my goal is to never be talked about talk to so I don't have to hear about it and for the most part I'd say about I'm somewhere in the ballpark of 95% um, you know good to go on most tasks and the rest kind of just yeah no one really cares I care more than most um, supervisors or management um, or other personnel. Um, and the rest don't even know um, what anything's supposed to look like. As long as it appears okay, that's the most important thing. If it looks okay, it looks presentable, and it must be okay. I guess it follows. When something's obviously looking weird or wrong um, or 
empty, then something's wrong. That gets attention. So I guess the most important thing is I don't want attention. I don't want to be noticed. So as long as I'm not getting attention or being noticed, then I must be doing something right. So anyway, that's my philosophy on being at work. And, uh, and I did have uh, an interesting encounter, I thought. A little bit out of the ordinary. Um, early this morning, somebody missed me enough that they, uh, you know, they just... And I was surprised. Um, it's like, I don't know, I'm just being myself. Being just the genuine person um, that I know how to be. Um, trying to avoid uh, pretending and being inauthentic and insincere in my activities, my thoughts, my words, my actions. So, if that makes me an interesting person uh, to talk to, then great. Um, but uh, actually, no, that's not great. Um, I need to be. Um, I need to be work on being mean on purpose to uh, make it so people are less likely to want to interact with me. Because if I'm nice and uh, you know, and people want more and they'll want to talk to me, and that'll just lead to bad interactions. It'll balance itself out. Because if people start asking and wanting more conversation and small talk, then they're gonna they're gonna get some bad interactions, which will lead to you know people not wanting to talk to me. But then I'll you know ill. I'm not worried about it. But um, um, I'm trying to think if anything else has happened. Um, not that I'm aware of. Um, I'm just kind of. Uh, in a stationary place right now, where I'm not exactly sure what, if anything, I should be doing different or more. No one seems to be uh, pursuing anything different than what I'm already doing. Um, so if anybody's looking for more attention or less attention, I just don't know. Um, which is par for the course. So I am just kind of just being uh, a free agent, um, a rogue misfit, not really belonging um, anywhere, not really being at home um, anywhere. So that gives me freedom and uh, permit to do as I see fit. But as long as I harm no one and I'm not causing any issues for anyone. But that just seems to be uh, a case of uh, damned if I do, damned if I don't. Because I, I can't make everybody happy and I'm, I'm not going to try. I've tried that. It doesn't work. And um, it leaves me feeling empty and uh, hollow. Because people just want to take and uh, there's just never enough. And the people, you know, begin to expect and then demand more, more, more. And uh, they quickly forget everything that's already been given because they just want more. They want it now. And uh, it's like, mm, so. Just stop. And they can think whatever they like. They can believe whatever they like. They can say whatever they like. They can, you know. But, uh, it doesn't affect uh, my reality. Um, it doesn't have to. It only has to if I let it. So if people want to be angry at me or, you know, tell stories or whatever, gossip, hearsay, rumor, uh, it doesn't speak to my character. It speaks to theirs. And I don't have to say anything about it. I don't have to tell anyone about it. I don't have to justify or explain. Um, 
that is a form of them winning, is if I feel like I have to prove something, explain something, justify something, rationalize something, to get their permission for it to be okay. Because now it does not. It already is okay. So, I feel pretty good about it. So I'm just going to keep on doing what I'm doing, the way that I'm doing it. And uh, the people that appreciate it, they appreciate it. The people that don't, don't. That's, that's okay. It doesn't have to be more complicated than that. I just make it more complicated than that until I remember that it doesn't have to be that complicated. Um, so. I'm working on it, just like all things. And uh, hearing myself say the words, that helps. Um, it won't stop me from forgetting again, and again, and again. But practice, practice, practice. So, <sighs> it's a full moon out there on a sunny day. I can't see it right now, but it's out there. October 9th. Hunter's Day. So, I guess I should go. I don't really have much else to say. I didn't have much to say to begin with. But, uh, here I am. Anyway.